so so it becomes 1 upon r so i am not taking the term beyond this why because this will start involving a term of a square upon a r square a cube upon r cube and so forth and that is that is that will become very very small okay a quantity that is very very smaller than 1 say 0 0.1 if you square it, it becomes 0 0.01. If you cube it, it becomes 0 0.001. And it becomes smaller as you go further. So I take only these two values. Understand? So it becomes 1 plus, what is my n? Minus half and x is minus 2a upon r cos theta. Okay, so that becomes what? It becomes 1 upon r, 2 to cancels, plus a upon r, cos theta, fine. So it actually becomes 1 upon r into 1 plus a cos theta, right? This is 1 upon R1. Because I'll require this here. Okay. That's one. That is that is one of the things that we have found out, right? A by R square. Hmm? A by R square. Next term? Okay, 1 upon r, sorry, into, sorry, sorry, a upon r cos theta, right? Square. Where? 1 by r plus 1 by r square. How square? I have still kept 1 upon r out. Here, 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 here. Uh -huh. yeah. Perhaps I should not have done that, right? Yeah. Correct? Oh. Correct? Okay. Now, now we go on to find out the R2, okay? We go on to find the value of R2. So what do you do? We draw, we extend, we extend PO to a point D Okay, and if this is theta, vertically opposite angle, this will also become theta. One thing, uh, if uh, R is very large, then won't OD will be a small value and R2 come out to be approximately huh? that? No, no, fine. But I am keeping one of the A upon R's we are keeping, right? A upon R. Otherwise, you can say that a upon r is so small that you neglect this so this will be equal to r which is which will be true mm. which will be true this is approximately equal to 1 upon r itself right but r r1 will be approximately equal to r but what is the variation according to that what happens r1 is equal to r r2 is equal to r the potential becomes zero so if you actually neglect everything then 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 you won't land to a value for this otherwise you will say it is zero and that is that is in fact the case you start going farther it will start becoming lesser lesser and lesser and it actually will become zero but if you want this to be found out this value to be found out then you have to keep this otherwise if you neglect even this then the whole thing is gone right it immediately becomes zero okay why not take db is equal to bp? db is equal to bp. db is equal to? bp is equal to bp. dp is equal to? bp approximately. bp. Hmm. Then what is that? That is what we are trying to find out. We are trying to find out it, find it out in terms of r and theta. If you say it is equal to r, then, then, then again you get nothing. Right? So we here we we extend OP to D, okay? So 
so we extend op to d we extend op to d or or i should say po to d and draw bd perpendicular to pd so this is 90 degree now in triangle in triangle odb in triangle odb we have od upon od upon a equal to cos theta so od is equal to a cos theta get the point and bd upon a is equal to sin theta thus bd is equal to a sin theta okay so now dp okay now we have dp dp no is equal to op plus op plus od is it not op plus od okay so dp is equal to so dp is equal to r r what is od od is equal to a cos theta r plus a cos theta and my bd is equal to bd is equal to a sin theta from here i should call this 3 because 2 1 2 i have already designated so this is 3 then this becomes somehow in your copies as 4 and this becomes as 5 right now in triangle bdp okay in triangle bdp what do we have bp square bp square is equal to is equal to bd square so bd square plus dp square now bd is indeed a sin theta so squared of that is this and dp is instead of r minus cos theta it is r plus a cos theta so here also it will become plus so here it will become plus it will become a plus here r2 huh? it will be r2 square here it will be r2 squared okay and this will be plus and this will be neglected and this becomes plus and it all becomes r2 r2 and all of these become plus so it is it is nothing but the repetition of the same thing now in this expansion here my x becomes 2a upon r cos theta and n still remains minus half so it becomes 1 upon r into into this so it becomes this and so this becomes this 4 5 this becomes 6 this is 1 upon r2 so we had we had number 3 1 upon r1 was 1 upon r into 1 plus a upon r cos theta And, and you'll find find a wonderful thing one this is one upon r plus a upon r square this is one upon r minus a upon r square this is telling me that one upon r1 is greater than one upon r2 do you see that 
and it indeed is the case here. The way you have drawn the diagram, that is indeed the case. Okay, so it is a true reflection of what we are trying to do till now. This I had named as equation 3. Now your next job is to just plug this in, just to plug these two things here. That's all. We took the reciprocal because this is here in a reciprocal, right? Okay. Now what is 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2? So, so do I erase this? So, so let us try to understand So V becomes, I have my V is equal to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. So that becomes Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 upon R1. So it is 1 upon R into 1 plus A upon R cos theta minus 1 upon r into 1 minus a by r cos theta. What happens? I have 1 upon r cancelling 1 upon r. These two negatives make a upon r as positive. So it becomes q upon 4 pi epsilon naught. This is q. This is a upon r square cos theta plus a upon r square cos theta. So that becomes 2a, 2a cos theta upon r square. Okay. Do we understand that? 2a q is p. Now 2a q is p. <coughs> I'll erase this. Okay. So this becomes P. P. There is a cos theta, right? Now what if I dot this with R cap? I have taken this as R. I dot it with R cap. Then P dot R cap becomes P into mod of R cap. That is 1 into cos theta. So that becomes. So that becomes. P cos theta. This is not. So, so I'll say this is P cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square. So I can write it as P dot R cap upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square. Okay. Fine. Now what does that indicate? Let us try to see. And you'll appreciate why dipole moment was, was defined in the first place. For a point charge. Dipole. For a point charge, the potential is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R, 
is it not? Okay, here it is P dot R cap upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square. Just see if it is R, this becomes R square. Here it was the, the point charge that was causing the potential. Here it is the P which is causing the potential to be created. Right? And it falls off as 1 upon R square. Why that? Due to the close proximity of these two charges which seem to kind of kind of annul the annul the the potential here. Understand? You'll find another interesting parallels in electric field. Electric field is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square. But the actual electric field due to a dipole becomes what? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, it is? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. 2p. 2p. Two P. Upon R cube. A square 4 to by 2. 2P, 2P upon R cube, yes. 2P upon R cube. Hmm? But what? That sounded right. R square plus A square 4 P by 2. What? For a equatorial. This is the actual and the equatorial is equatorial is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus p upon r cube equatorial is this okay Fine. You see, so when there is a 1 upon R dependence in case of a potential, in case of a dipole it increases by 1, this. So it becomes 1 upon R square. Here it was 1 upon R square, it becomes R cube. And in both the cases, in cases of dipole, since the electric field is being created in a sense by the, by the dipole moment, hence here also the potential is being created by the dipole moment okay we have taken uh, uh, in in whatever you are showing it to me you, we have taken i x to be very very greater than a so so i am talking about the final result not the intermediate result so so you, we get the point so it is the p which seems to be creating the field Okay, it is not the value of Q which is creating it, rather 2A into Q which creates it. Okay, so you start decreasing A and increasing Q such that 2A Q remains the same, the field will remain the same. You understand? You understand the importance of dipole moment? So, so V is, V is, V becomes P dot R cap upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square. Okay. Okay. It becomes this. Fine. Hmm? Now we'll see some important points regarding this. 